Charles Davis and I want to welcome you to my channel called The God Principles. What I'm going to talk about today is God is listening. I'm going to tell you a story about my life. At one time, I suffered with a disease. I suffered for 20 years. Eventually, I got into treatment. I went into treatment July 15th, 2015. The treatment was over August 15th, 2015. On August 18th, it was officially declared that I had been cured. So I'm sitting there in my room and I'm talking to God, just like I'm talking to you. I say, God, I want to thank you for relieving me of this disease. But I say, God, if this is truly your will for my life, it would be nice to have a little celebration. You know, I don't want much. A nice breakfast, bacon, eggs, sausage, pancakes, milk, coffee, orange juice. I laid out a whole big spread. Now realize, I'm in a facility where you go to the cafeteria and they have already pre-planned your meal. But on this day, it's like, okay, I know how I talk to God. I say, God is listening. But I also had a special request. I was scheduled to do kitchen detail. I was supposed to wash all the dishes for three days. I had done one day already. And I asked God, I said, it would be really be nice if I didn't have to do kitchen detail just for that day, August 18th. Somebody knocked on my door and said, Charles, you need to come on. The kitchen is about to close. In my mind, I'm thinking, okay, people that come in last just have to accept leftovers. So I resolved myself to that. I go to the kitchen, line, and they bring out this tray. It's wrapped. It has everything on it that I asked for. Everything. But then, one of the directors comes to me and says, Charles, you don't have to do kitchen details anymore. Not today, not ever for the rest of the time you're here. That's what I want you to know. God is listening. People may not believe it, but the Bible says, life and death is carried in your words. God is listening to what you say and what you want. It warns us, do not use God's name in vain. Because you'll bring on problems in your own life just because you didn't spoke it into existence. A lot of people won't use the word God. They'll call it source or manifesting. There's some truth to that, I suppose. But God is listening. He's listening to you. I want to thank you for watching. Come back to the God Principles. I'm going to have some more stories of how you can use the God principles in your life.